Excuse me, you can't do that. Dosh! Holy fuck, this thing is hot. Woo! Woo! On holidays, as of right now. Oh my god, I'm so happy. So I'm heading to Newcastle right now. I just gotta go home, have a shower, get my shit together. Oh man. So the last two weeks, I don't know how many times I've yelled out, service! Echoes in this, echoes up in this bitch. All right, I really gotta get going. It's 10 to four now, and it's gonna take me three or four hours to get to Newcastle. I gotta figure out where my mate's place is that I'm staying. Oh, rad, oh, rad, oh, rad. I'm off. <laughs> Tempted to bring my bike as well. If I do that, then I won't be able to sleep in my car if that's necessary. Oh, well, you're not gonna get to anyway. <laughs> Right away, need to go get some to drink. It is hot. I uh, have made it to Scone, but I am starting to feel fucked. The days into my belly, or else I may die.
Okay, so I should also give a really quick mention to the opening acts that were on and they were both very good. Winston's sweatshirt was one. They had a five piece band, had a saxophone player and everything that was, not saxophone, trombone player. They were really funky. Really jazzy, really like them. Anyway, lengths were much more mellow. Then I would probably go and see for a live show, to be honest. And I didn't really know who they were, but then I, the last couple of songs, which I don't have any footage of, uh, they played and I recognized them off of Triple J, so they must be well recognized. So after the gig, I went and I got even more drunk than what I already was, because I was already really tired and hadn't like eaten a shit ton of food, so I was very, I was shit-faced. Afterwards, I met a couple guys and went out to have a few more drinks. Then we tried to go to somewhere, I think called Finnegan's, but I was too drunk and had shorts on, so I couldn't get in. So I walked back to West's to try and get to my car. All right, that's so basically to be able to get inside my own car, I parked in here. I parked in here. To go sleep, like I alluded to that I might have to earlier. Obviously you can see how pissed I am at the moment because I was really just rambling shit. I gotta go down, downstairs, Woo. there it is. People behind those stairs, but they won't let me down here. So well, I've got to go down these stairs. These secret stairs here. I'm gonna go down. These. I'm gonna go. Oh fuck! I'm gonna go down these stairs. What is down these stairs? Oh my god! Oh my god! Fighter, try to strap. Alright, I made it into this scenario, but I actually am going to stay here tonight. Now I'm just going to settle down so no one is so suspecting. I went in there, I went down there, got some water, uh, then a security guard walked over to me. There's a guy over here who's going to suspect us for one. I'm not going to show myself. I've got problems. Now, I'm good, mate. I'm not going anywhere. I'm go not going anywhere. I didn't really record any of the footage of that encounter, but I remember him coming over at first, and then I remember seeming to appease him, so he went away. I can't remember exactly what I said, but then I got back in the car, took my shoes off, I was just laid down to go to sleep, and they knock on the door, start harassing me, kicking me out, but I was like half asleep at this point, half passed out. It took me a good five, 10 minutes to just get my shoes on and try and get my shit together. I grabbed this camera, so at least I have, after I left, I had something to tell. Jesus fucking Christ, this is ridiculous. Yeah, no, I'm 
I'm just gonna like try and sleep in this, on the street. It's fine. It's all right. Sleep on the street. It's fine. Don't worry about it. Mm. Ridiculous. So um, I got nowhere to go. When I pulled over earlier and um, saw if I was all right. Said so up the road there's like a, a hotel or something, so I can go. Yeah, but I don't, I've, turns out I don't have my phone or wallet on me. So I can't unless I go back down. So, I'm gonna go back down there. Okay, so it's closed. Um, yeah, I literally cannot do anything. So my car is in there with my phone and my wallet in there because they were harassing me so fast that I couldn't get out. I don't know what was going on because I'm too tired in that situation, so they've basically put me on the street with nothing. What a bunch of fucking oh, man. So yeah, I'm uh, basically waiting for them to open so I can get my phone and wallet out of my car. Go really? Oh, I need to sleep. Like I can't fucking, I can't sleep Not any other way. It's fucking ridiculous. Oh, oh my god. Oh my god. So I basically just spent the rest of the night like I sat down in a few different places. A few people came up to me and like talked to me about what was what was going on and why I was just sitting there and why I had this really big expensive looking camera on me. So I had some good conversations that took up a good hour or two. Then I remember I had I managed to for some reason have I think it was just leftover change from the bars, but I had three dollars of change in my pocket. So I went to McDonald's, got a BLT and a hot cake, sat down out the front there for like probably another hour or an hour and a half and had a really long conversation with uh, this other fella, walked around for a little bit more, just stumbling around trying to stay awake. Going to see if the garage is open now. I really need to get my car so I can go have a nap. Oh, these guys are good. So good, in fact. I just don't know how they're keeping up with the work, really. So, I um, spent most of the time the last two hours, or the last hour at least, speaking to this old fella at McDonald's. Now I've got no rest, I haven't slept yet. Each night for the last couple nights, I've only had a few nights where I've had a few hours sleep. I'm really tired, I'm fucked. That's why I had to have the, uh, the notos earlier. And what now, I'm, I'm completely wrecked. Christ. Jesus Christ, so. This is, you know, completely fucking stupid. I don't know what they eat time they have. It's six o'clock now. Um, I imagine these guys don't open till at least eight, probably. I don't know. Well, I think, uh, I'm going to lie down here for a little while. It's quiet and um, I need like a 15 minute nap just to, to uh, kick back. Anyway, I'm on holiday. So I don't, I'm pretty good. I'm like pretty unfuckwithable at the moment. I ended up going back to McDonald's at some point because I needed to go to the toilet. 
I'm pretty sure I had like a half an hour long nap on the toilet. I couldn't stay awake. I actually like just remember sitting there on the toilet like this and then like coming to and it must have been at least half an hour later. Yeah, I'm surprised no one knocked on the door and got me, but it was like six in the morning, so. Pretty sure I just had a nap on top of a McDonald's toilet seat. I don't know, my memory is terrible at the moment. Anyway, it was a crazy night. I eventually got to see a security guard. Did just manage to get hold of a security guard. He said 10 a.m another hour and 45 minutes so I don't know what the hell I'm gonna do for them. I'm gonna try and find this park up the road I think maybe and just sit under a tree or something. So then I went and sat on laid on one of the benches there for probably an hour, an hour and a half. Luckily I didn't fall completely asleep. Some guy came over and with his dog and checked that I wasn't just passed out because so I wasn't going to bake in the sun. I've literally been laying here for the last hour. Oh um, man, I'm fucked. Fucked, fucked, fucked. Uh, yeah, buddy. But then I got back, uh, they opened. Right, making my way back now. I really, really need a drink, bud. Two minutes. One minute. Oh my lord. So ready, so ready, so ready. Yes! There are! My car's up. Oh, my alarm's going off. Mm. Ah. Need to rest up. And then I'm um, driving to Port Macquarie. Going to Port Macquarie for the first time. Want to go scout out the uh, course that the Half Ironman in May is on. Uh, and I would also love to go catch up with Kim and Sam in Kempsey. <sighs> Finally getting some. I went and bought a couple sandwiches. Food. Went over to Coles and got two bottles of water and a Gatorade and I wasn't too bad after that. Um, that day was really, really tough and really dangerous and um, pretty dumb. I probably shouldn't have driven anywhere at that point, but I did. And I didn't leave until probably 12 o'clock. I, I had a sleep. Then went and got some energy drink and every single rest stop on the way to Port Macquarie I stopped at and had a nap. I think this is my third or fourth stop now. It's 2.30 and um pulled over again to have a quick break. I'm just breaking it up a lot and going to all the stops and taking a nap at each one. Yeah, just taking my time, making sure I get there. Like so. Yeah, I had at least five or six naps on the way there, including having to have a two hour, another two hour long sleep uh, at some stop, I can't remember exactly where or what it was called, but... Just woke up. That was really good. I feel... I don't feel so tired anymore. I leave the mic in body bags, my rap style has the force to leave your loss like the drivers of bass. Representing with the skill. I've been here for about three hours in here. What should have been a two and a half hour long drive or so ended up being 
about a five, six hour long drive. But I got there and I really liked Port Macquarie. Uh, there seemed to be like lots of really cool like cafes and stuff. Well, I did make it. and got a pizza. Stayed in a pub overnight. Found my accommodation staying at Port Macquarie Hotel. made it, I'm alive. First impressions of Port Macquarie are really good. I really like the area that I've seen of it so far. Um, all the streets and everything, it looks really nice. It's really neat and tidy. Lots of really nice looking places to go eat. Been sitting down in the bar, had a couple beers. I'm gonna go have another one in a minute. Watch just a little bit more of the tennis. Federer and Nadal are versing each other. Uh, I don't think I'll make the end of the game though. I'm way too tired. Gonna get an early start tomorrow. Go have a look at the course for this half iron man. Yeah, go get some nice, go get some breakfast. Um, saw a couple cafes that looked like they'd be pretty good for brekkie. Try and leave pretty early because I want to go back to Tamworth and do some photography out at Moor Creek Caves. Possibly go through some photos that I've taken already, but um, I'll have to go out there because there's a photo competition run by Tamworth Regional Land Care and there's a thousand dollar prize for winning so I really want to try and win that and give it a crack. Anyway, I'm going to stop talking now and catch you later.